All right, let's go. Let's go get a haircut. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go in. What's going on? So, he has a terrible haircut. Okay. So we want to send him home to Japan, where he'll be... A ladies' man? A, like a superstar, yeah. You came to the right place. Go ahead, have a seat right here. Well, All obviously, right. he has no sense of style. <laughs> so he's very young. He's only 22. Okay. And when I met him, I was like, I couldn't really trust him because... His eyes were covered, and it was a terrible haircut. Okay. <laughs> he said, he said, for my girlfriend, I want to look good. I said, I'm going to become good looking. <laughs> cool, I have the perfect style for you. We're going to do a pompadour today, so you're going to go home looking good for your girlfriend. Beautiful. So I'm just preparing by doing my initial parting so that I make sure that I stay organized in the haircut. Yeah, like so this part, I'm just separating the sides and back from the top so that um, I don't have to conquer all of this at once. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm going to remove this bulk, but I wanted to keep him with a little bit of length on the sides. Nothing too crazy because I think that this style is going to be really nice, like having some length on the top, some volume, something to mess around with up there. That's what the girls like anyways. I'm gonna finish out this neckline here and I'm gonna keep it nice and natural. A nice taper down here, nothing blocked off because it's not as modern. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in around the ears, finish out this neckline uh, before we start on kind of the top area. <laughs> he's, he's on completely on edge. <laughs> a different person. So I'm gonna go about cutting the top now and I'm doing like a pretty drastic angle here so I'm gonna create this triangular shape which means longer in the front shorter in the back here. So now what I'm doing is I'm blending the top to the sides by taking these horizontal sections to leave a slight bit of weight. I'm angling my fingers towards myself away from him to keep a lot of this length. What I'm doing now is I'm just going to get this all dry so that when I go in and take weight out, I'm taking actually as much as I want to take. I'm going to take my, my blending shear here and I'm going to go around this kind of transition area. I've left a lot of weight in this crown area to give him this really nice kind of question mark shape that is the ideal head shape that we want. And break up these ends a bit. So on the top here, I'm still keeping a mental note of how many cuts I'm making with my blending shear because even if I'm removing weight and adding texture, I still need my, my weight removal and my added texture to be balanced throughout the head. I'm gonna be using a nice um, hydrating shampoo called Hydrate Me by Kevin Murphy. Um, I chose this because he has a bit of a drier texture, so I wanted to add a little bit of moisture to that. So I'm gonna use this Freehold by Kevin Murphy. This has got a really natural finish to it, so I kind of give like a nice even layer on my hands here before I start to work it through the hair, get it warmed up. I'm gonna start um, in the middle, going side to side with my hands with like a fork finger action. Work my way to the front here. And I choose to use my fingers instead of a brush because I think it gives like a slightly more natural finish to it. Like a, I just woke up like this. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like it? Good? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, but now it's even better.